Hey, I'm walking the dogs. Um, I actually just went and got Snowflake. He's the white one. He's not mine. He lives across the street, but he walks with JD twice a day. And uh, I just went and got him. And I talked to the guy who owns him. Uh, and I tell him like when I'm gonna be away for a couple of days because I have a fight or something so that he knows that I'm not gonna be taking Snowflake out. So I'm always like, oh, I'm going to Chiang Mai, I'll be back on Sunday, you know, like this kind of thing. And uh, I go and I pick up Snowflake and the guy's coming out to feed him right at that moment. And uh, as I'm walking down the street, he's like, hey, you, 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 Ty. So I turn around and he's like, I want to take a picture. So I'm like, okay, that's totally weird. So I come over and he takes a picture of me. <laughs> he goes, my friend is a huge Muay Thai fan. And he showed me your picture in Muay Thai Am that is like my whole profile about 200 fights. And he's like, my friend's showing me this profile and I'm like, that's the girl who walks my dog. <laughs> so uh, he knew I was a fighter, but now he knows who I am, I guess. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Um, I had a really good day in training. I'm actually not feeling super well. Um, I have this like swollen lymph node in my armpit that I think is just like a slight reaction to being um, uh, from my stitches or maybe something like that. Like it's just sore and there aren't any other things swollen around it. So I'm trying to avoid taking antibiotics because um, I don't take them super often, but I take them more often than I want to. So um, I'm, I'm trying to avoid that. But uh, I think that in feeling really tired, uh, which is also a natural response to getting back into training after having a little bit of a couple of slow weeks because of fighting and my stitches. Uh, my last two fights have resulted in stitches, so that means a little bit of time off after each um, and then like slowly coming into training. So I think that just getting back into it a little bit is partially <laughs> why I'm so tired. Um, but what's really cool about it is that uh, my like fuck it energy is really good uh, when I get fatigued and I'm like, I'm just not going to be able to like be awesome. So I'm just going to do what I can. It allows me to relax. And then I end up being actually really awesome because I'm not super focusing on it, um, which is an important lesson in and of itself. Um, so the past couple of days I've been, I mean, for months I've been working on this like relaxation that Karahat had me working on. But before my last fight, um, I had a session with him that was absolutely incredible and I did really well in the relaxation it was like I had just leapt to a new level in it um, and then I went and fought my fight not in the way that I had done that so um, that was as much as it sucks to lose it was an important lesson in like um, the difference between your training and your fighting and like what you bring into it um, so I think ultimately that was like losing that fight was actually really really good for what I've been able to work on since then daddy um, so in these, in these past couple of days since my fight, as I've been able to get back into training, um, my relaxation level has been <laughs> really, really good. I'm just like keeping this super fluid, like arms down, relaxed thing, um, that because that's how I relax, like dropping my hands and having this, like, I don't care, go ahead and hit me kind of thing relaxes me. Um, it creates this kind of invisibility cloak that, um, I've experienced on the receiving end because Karahat does it like he has a fucking Lord of the Rings ring and just disappears. It's amazing. But being on the other end of that, being the one who disappears and seeing how that affects your opponent um, has been really, really cool and really rewarding in terms of knowing that this is something that I want to be working on. So um, that was really cool today. And then uh, Pinu had me clinching with Sun, who's terrified of me. <laughs> um, but uh, working with someone who's not as good as me and who's um, not much heavier than me um, allowed me to work on things that I can't work on with people who are bigger and better than me. Um, so I got to work on some like turns and like throws that I haven't really been able to do uh, and that made me really really happy. And then Sun's dad was watching and uh, he was like, Sylvie, teach him this thing. And so I like showed him something that he could do that would really help in the situation. His dad got so happy um, and it kind of made me happy to realize that like when you teach someone something. Uh, it reminds you of the technique or when you use it or whatever because you have to explain it to someone. Um, but uh, being in that position and like seeing how Pinu responded to the change in Sun when Sun started applying the things I was talking about, about how to how to turn and walk forward, um, Pinu was like really excited to see him doing that. So uh, it was good to know also that I was teaching him the right things and it was not 
in opposition <laughs> to uh, something that would be taught by someone who's definitely an authority over me. Um, so yeah, good day. Those are the things I'm working on. I'm fighting again on the 9th. Uh, today's the 30th, so I have a little bit of time, but it's up in Karat. It's, it's a big event, um, and Karhat's going to be in my corner again, and I was kind of after my last fight feeling a little bummed out about that um, because I want to impress him all the time. Um, but given how I've been doing this work this week, I'm actually really excited about it. So um, people ask me, like, what are you going to do now that you have 200 fights? As though that's like any kind of retirement thing. Um, but maybe I'm just going to be really fucking relaxed in my fights now. Maybe that's, maybe that's after 200. <laughs> JD, come on.